There is no such thing as a math person. With the right practice, everyone can excel at math. Hi, The Lonely Bookany here. In this video, we are discussing the right way to take notes, the perfect practice routine, and take exam like a top student. Idea inspired by the book, A Mind for Number by Barbara Oakley. The secret to be good in math is chunking. Chunking is to connect information by a common meaning. For example, brushing your teeth. You don't need to remind yourself to put toothpaste and follow a brushing pattern. Or driving a car, after a while checking your angles, accelerating and turning, becomes part of driving. So to create a chunk, you must first understand and then practice. Practice active note taking. In class, for each concept, take down as many sample problems as possible. If the class goes too fast, focus on noting the problem and as many steps as you can to get to the solution. If you have time, you can add details and put annotation on the site like concrete example, such as when and why to use a formula. And also, add some visual to your notes, for example using uppercase for concept, underlining steps, and draw a diagram. And if you have missed or didn't quite get an idea, write a note on the site so you can look it up later. On the same day, complete your notes, especially if you have missed a step, and make sure you understood everything. If you need concept explained differently, search the topic on YouTube or Google. The good thing about math is that once it clicks, you know you have nailed the understanding part. Plan your study. Prepare a study calendar. Spread out your study sessions into many short intense bursts. You can try the Pomodoro technique, which consists of cutting out all distraction and setting up a timer for 25 minutes of intense work each time. Next, create a mental pump. Before studying a chapter, skim through it to get the big picture or where is it trying to get at. Then, do some exercise. It will help you find out how and why theory work and avoid the illusion of understanding. In addition, Work out suggested exercise with different solving technique to prevent mimicking previous problems. After that, prepare memorization aid. Use flashcard for formulas and concept. You can write down ideas on the front and explanation in the back. And doing so will most likely help you remember them already. Work on a key problem or a problem that touches many concepts following this instruction. First, you want to do a key problem all the way through on paper. Then, take a little break and redo it, but this time, pay attention to key process or step that you had difficulties. Come back the next day and do it again one last time and notice how easier it got. Finally, repeat the whole process for another key problem to make sure you have created a chunk. Take exam. First things first. Read through the exam to prime your brain and spot the hardest question. Then. Spend one or two minutes on the hardest question and swiftly switch to easy question before coming back. This process allows your brain to focus on the hard question first, and then, while you're working on the easier one, your brain keeps working on the harder one in the back of your head. In the end, save some time to proofread yourself by following a different sequence that you did the exam. This allows your brain to see a different path and spot careless mistakes. Let's recap. To success in math, complete your notes. Understand each concept and practice to create a chunk, which allows you to see the context. Finally, start your exam with the hardest question but switch quickly to an easier one. The Verdict is an excellent book for anyone willing to improve the way they study technical course and understand how our brain works when searching for a solution. So for more insight, check out the book. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please share, like and subscribe for more ideas every week. And I hope I brought you one step closer to your brighter self.